Form 5, Way of the Crate Dragon, the Perseverance Form. Welcome to another Temple Archives, and today we'll be going over the fifth lightsaber form in the series, Xi'an or Gem Cell. Unlike most other forms, Form 5 has two variants from which users preferred, Xi'an and Gem Cell. We'll start first with the Xi'an variation. The opening stance was a high guard position with the hilt held in a two-handed grip above the user's head and blade angled upward and behind the user. The dominant leg was held back enabling step through strikes. Xi'an was dubbed the Perseverance Form. It was well adapted to guard against blaster fire and enemy strikes while still being able to launch powerful counterattacks. The style was focused on having multiple opponents and was great for Jedi since they were usually outnumbered. Xi'an users were proficient in the barrier of blades, which defended the user from blaster fire and redirected some of the incoming fire back at their opponents. Some users used the reverse Xi'an grip, a variation in which the user held the hilt in a backward position exposing the front. This let the user perform long sweeping strikes to take down multiple enemies at a time. Xi'an weaknesses lie in single opponents. Xi'an was built to deflect blaster fire when outnumbered while being able to counterattack. Single opponents were not accounted for with the purpose of this variation. The Gem Cell variation was, however, built for lightsaber combat in an extremely aggressive form. Gem Cell was created by Form 3 masters who felt that Form 3 was too passive. Gem Cell maintained a proper foundation of defense against both ranged and melee attacks. Immediately after defending against a strike, a Gem Cell user would counterattack, seeking to dominate the duel. Gem Cell placed a heavy focus on brute strength and power, with wide powerful strikes and parries followed by counterattack. Gem Cell users also pressed the assault with force enhanced strength and powerful blade combinations. Gem Cell has a lack of mobility, making its weakness form such as Ataru which can move around Gem Cell's weak spots. Wielders of large stature generally choose form 5, due to it requiring less agility than other forms. Gem Cell complements bigger forms that were able to use natural strength and reach advantages. So in basic terms, Xi'an was a form more used for deflection and counterattacks when outnumbered, catering to the defensive side of this form. And Gem Cell was the offensive aggressive twin who used brute force and strength to beat down an opponent with strikes and counters. A notable user of this form is Anakin Skywalker slash Darth Vader. As Anakin Skywalker, he incorporated other forms into his Gem Cell style, such as Ataru, but his main practice was still Form 5. He made up for the lack of mobility through training and experience through the Clone Wars. Anakin heavily preferred the Gemso variant of Form 5, but still knew how to use Xi'an, including using it briefly against Count Dooku to mislead him. After turning into Darth Vader and gaining his mobility lacking suit, he had to hone his skills in Form 5 once again mixing other forms into his style, but mainly using an even more aggressive form of Gem Cell. Darth Vader's defense was impenetrable, and his counterattacks were just as lethal, making him a great and extremely aggressive duelist. His defeat came at the hands of Luke Skywalker who also used Form 5, but never could get the upper hand against his father. In their final battle though, Vader taunted Luke, prompting Luke to draw upon the dark side briefly and overpower his father with Form 5. Anakin passed on after defeating the Emperor and restoring balance to the Force. That's it for this Temple Archive everybody. What did you like about Form 5? Is this the form for you? Remember to check out the other content here and share this video and subscribe and I'll see you guys later.